talk about it. But yes, there are there are some fat mads who are real mad about yesterday. And uh, there's some fat mads who are mad about other stuff, too. One really fat uh, mad is is mad, which is weird because he's um, a large man and he's very upset for me calling him out. But the thing is, I, I didn't actually call him out uh, individually, I guess. I guess if he wants to take it upon himself to, like, have that mantle, that's fine. I don't really care. Um, but I wasn't... Uh, I'm referring, of course, to PPP. PPP thinks I called him out the other day when I was bitching about people shutting down New Project 2. So then uh, someone told him that I, like, called him out. But I actually didn't. I didn't call out PPP on that. Um... And then PPP said that I did call him out and that, well, I, we could just play, I could play the clip. I've got the, the audio that I did call him out, but it wasn't him. It's like, but I didn't call you out. So if it wasn't you, I, I couldn't be calling you out. So I don't, I don't know. I don't know. He's uh he's such a weirdo, such a weird guy, but whatever. We'll, we'll probably play the clip in a little bit, but again, I, I don't know. I don't know. So that's one of the fat mads uh, who's mad. And then, um, and then the other ones, uh, you know, well, I had a little, had a little bit of a spicy rant yesterday. <laughs> so, so, uh, Wovenar, no, he wasn't behind it. Um, it was probably Vordrak, the guy who hates Josh Moon. But uh, I was also just talking about the shitty take that it was it was a money laundering scheme because it it's the dumbest money laundering scheme on the planet. It's it's not like money laundering by having people send you credit card payments is not a good money laundering scheme in the first place. Uh, usually for a money laundering scheme, you're using using a cash based business and you're getting this cash under the table and then you're making it legitimate through that cash based business. So like a, like a hairdresser or a nail salon, these are great, great money laundering sort of schemes because lots of people come in low transaction amounts. They pay cash. It's hard to really track how many people are, are doing appointments from the outside, right? Like you, you may have records inside, but then you just mark down a bunch of extra appointments that you did and who's verifying the appointment. So that's how you, that's how cash based businesses launder money. Um, it's, it's a lot harder with credit card transactions because you know where the money's coming from. There's a record of it. It can go, you can, you can subpoena records from credit card companies and stuff like that. It's, uh, it's just not a great way to do it. Laundromats are great. Yeah. Coin operated things can be good, except with inflation, they're not as good anymore. They're not as good anymore. So, uh, but anyway, um, but yeah, so that's what made PPP mad. And then, of course, I made some I made some random fat mad from Law Twitter uh, extra mad, too. So they're trying to cancel my YouTube channel with a very ineffective tweet. Uh, but that's... Okay, I think this will work. Let me just do... Uh, Nick Rosado spurred the bitch. Here we go. All right. Again, if you saw my rant last night, by the way, I think it was last night, I wasn't even talking about PPP at all, but, but PPP is an opportunist and needs, and needs validation from other people. He, which is weird. He shouldn't need validation from other people. He's entertaining. He's cultivated a following, but he needs, like, he needs to latch on to other people's stuff. I don't know why he does this. Because I think he's, I think he's funny. I think he's funny and he, he created something that was going really well or whatever. I haven't been following it, of course. Uh, I had him on the show and then I haven't really followed him since, which is, it's not personal. I just don't, I don't follow any of this stuff. I really don't. Uh, it's, it's boring. It's cancerous um, to talk about drama all the time between the YouTube IBS community, which nobody even wants to be in. But that being said, 
Uh, someone sent me this, and PPP thought I was talking about him. I'll say it again. PPP, buddy, I think your shtick is funny. I wasn't talking about you. We've talked about this, uh, but if you want to take it, that's that's up to you. But here we go. Uh, this is this is a fat mad being fat and mad. So here we go. <sighs> Nick Rosado spurred about you because you cost him money. I saw. I saw. He was crying from his anus, from his Jew wallet, from his wherever. Spurging and whining about how he lost all this money. And you know, Ricada, I fucked you out of that money. You platform me anyway. How did you? You platform me anyway. And you know, there's this whole thing. Oh my God, he took responsibility for it going down. Oh, you saw from T-Clips, maybe you did. Probably not, because nobody even gives a fuck and it's... No, I wasn't, uh, I didn't watch T-Clips. I wasn't talking about you, fatso! I wasn't talking about you at all! I don't know why I would. We've, we've figured this out between you and me. Do you remember? <laughs> like, why are you like this? Why are you so fucking autistically stupid that you don't understand basic things? You and I talked. We we talked about all this. It's long gone. I don't care. You you had your thing. You did your thing. It's fine. Came on my show. Uh you you did a weird thing at the end of my show, but we we talked about that too. It was fine. I don't I don't get this. I didn't mention you. I didn't talk about you. I don't know why I would. You clearly didn't do this, so it's not you I'm talking about. But okay. Uh, I thought you said you saw it, but I do forget sometimes that PPP has a bit of the tism and doesn't catch nuance or sarcasm or anything like that. So, so okay, I guess I was talking, but I wasn't talking about you. I was talking about literally... The retards that post on Kiwi Farms. Because there are smart Kiwi Farmers and there are retarded Kiwi Farmers. That's, that's the nature of an internet forum. You've got, you've got people who understand basic things and you've got people who don't and still talk about it. That's who I'm talking about. Uh, to my knowledge, PPP isn't on Kiwi Farms. So I necessarily couldn't have been talking about him. But okay. All right. It's pretty irrelevant. I shouldn't even give it big dog time. But you know, I have big dick energy, so I'm going to give it some time. I'm going to give it some time here. Look, folks, who gives a fuck? New Project Correct. 2 going down was based as fuck. I wish I was responsible. I mean, the reality is it's Vordrak who did it. It's Vordrak who did it. But, you know, I like to think that in my small way, I helped fuck those grifters in the ass. So that they couldn't make another fucking penny from Dick Masterson's money laundering Chinese scheme. Uh, so there you go. There you go. Apparently the, uh, the fat mad is still fat and mad. Um, but oh, oh, okay. I, 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 I guess. I guess. But, uh, weird thing. Weird things, man. Yeah, I, I still think it's lame that people took down New Project 2 because it was taken down on a faulty premise and the people on Twitter literally don't understand, or not on Twitter, on Kiwi Farms, literally didn't understand, like, how silly it was to have a uh, payment processor be a, or a, a payment processor facilitator be a... Money laundering scheme. It's it's not a functional money laundering scheme. It's about you would have to be a moron to to work it like a money laundering scheme. But you know, it's gone. By the way, I, I make more money now from locals and Patreon than I made from Patreon and New Project 2. It's the cycle. It goes, but it doesn't change the fact that it was stupid. Very, very stupid. And that people were wrong about how it operated. And uh, people were people were wrong about the weird cons conspiracy over like Dick Masterson knows your social security number. 
it's like, I, I guess you've never been 1099. I, I don't know. Uh, whatever. I, I guess, I guess that's a thing. I don't know. These, these people are fucking weird. They're all weird. I don't get it. But uh, why is PPP still focused on this, Nicole? L like, without a hint of irony, not a joke in my heart, autism. Not internet autism, not any other kind of, like, not like a niche joke autism, legitimate autism. PPP is clearly autistic. He doesn't understand nuance. He doesn't understand jokes. And that was, that was evident in the conversations I had with him where he talked about various, I don't even remember what they were, but if you go back and you watch the interview that I had with him, we had a nice cordial talk for most of it, but then he started bringing up stuff as that was clearly jokes as if it was real things. He, he honestly doesn't understand. He doesn't understand reality in the same way that, Someone without his condition does. And that's not his fault. Like, he's not at fault for it. Doesn't make him a bad guy. But you start to realize that when you talk to him and when you watch his stuff and how he talks about things where he literally does not understand jokes. And that's okay, I guess. It's part of what makes him entertaining, I think. Uh... And, and that's, that's fine. It's, it, that's not a slam or anything else. I, I really don't. I wish PVP the best. I wish him the best. I wish he wasn't mad. Uh, weird, weird to be mad about, uh, about my rant when it wasn't directed at him at all, but okay. Uh, that's, that's fine. But, um, and, uh, yeah, I'd probably have him on the show again. I don't know what we'd talk about, but. I don't have any bad beef with PPP. So, um, but, you know, you should wish he wasn't fat. <laughs> uh, but, uh, so there, he needs to just, I don't, I don't know what, I, I don't understand. Uh, it was, the rant was directed at other people pretty clearly, but Okay. Why does he hate Jews? That's a question you'll have to ask him. I don't.